There are plenty of scientific tools that help us determine the weather. But if we listen closely, Mother Nature may actually give us some clues as well. It is our favorite time of year. Time for the Woolly Worm Forecast. And look who's here to help us with it. It is Judy <laughs> Frazier. Welcome back. So good to see you. Oh, thank you very much. I always think October means Halloween and Woolly Worm Forecast. Yes, and you have joined us on a beautiful day it out really here is. in the Weather Garden. Absolutely. So perfect. How many years have you been doing the Woolly Worm Forecast? I think it's somewhere. I've been retired for 11 years, and I did it for. I was here 34 years, so it's wow. been. At, at least 35 to 40 years that I've done this woolly worm forecast and it's, it's just been fun it's a it's a wonderful treat for me to share this old fun folklore with everybody in central Illinois well I'm sure most everyone knows what the woolly worms are and sort of what they do but can we nutshell kind of what the process is and what we're looking for in any given year well obviously we're, we're looking at a caterpillar not a worm and the caterpillar the woolly worm has a coat and so that's one of the things I look at. Obviously, the big point is the coat, the color, the bands on the woolly worm, and the direction in which they're in which they're moving. Those are the those are the credentials that I need to make my woolly worm forecast. But where did this whole woolly worm like forecast come from? What made us decide? Let's let's take a look at the, those woolly worms and, yeah. and predict the winter season. Well, the custom is as old as the hills. As a matter of fact, it comes from the Blue Ridge Mountains in the Carolinas. And it was the Native Americans who actually taught the early settlers. Uh, we didn't have the technical wizardry we have today, so obviously they had to have other ways of preparing for the winter. And so they looked at Mother Nature, the trees, the seeds, the, uh, the leaves, they looked at the antics of animals, insects, and birds, and so that's where the woolly worm came from. And you know, there, there's no meteorological credence or veracity to the woolly worm, but by gosh, <laughs> they're pretty darn good at forecasting the weather, generally my, speaking. My favorite part of, of all this is the, the bands and how they correspond yes. to the 13 weeks of winter. 13 weeks of winter. And, and so is it from head to toe, beginning to end of winter? How does, how does that work? Well, obviously, if the whole worm is black, that means from the beginning to the end, we're going to have winter, no question about it. Now, if you have black bands at the beginning, black bands at the end, but you have brown or, you know, the lighter colored ones in the middle, that means it's going to be a cold start, a cold end, <clears throat> but in between, it's going to be mild. So you you have to look at all these different things to, as they are. It's very complex. Yes. Yeah. Well, you've actually got your little mascot yes, I've got here, my little worm. our little oh, woolly worm here. I don't know if we can see him. Tell us about um, the story behind this worm. This worm was given to me by um, somebody at the Camargo Woolly Worm Festival, probably 15, 20 years ago, um, and he. <laughs> It's a little worse for the wear. He's lost a few legs over the years because they have three sets of legs and very, they don't see very well at all, the little worms. And so they need those legs when they're crawling across the road to feel. That's how they know where they are and where they're going. So I treasure this little guy. I use him in my fall de decorations in the fall, but uh, this is my little woolly worm. <laughs> <laughs> we've talked about the bands, we've talked about the color. What does the direction they're traveling tell you? Is well, it north, south, east, west? Is that what we're looking for? Well, if they, if they, supposedly, it's very difficult to track a woolly worm because they're, they can't see, so they're moving in all directions. But if you get a general view of them moving south, they're like we are. They're snowbirds. It's going to be cold. If they're moving north or vertically east-west, it means, hey, it's going to be a winter like this. Not so bad. So here. I'm, I'm going to stick around. So that's how we decide that. All right, the persimmon seeds. Yes. What's the deal with the seeds? Well, the seeds, and I think we have some um, this year. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, the persimmon seeds, if you open the seed, there are three, and they're very distinct. You can tell if there's a spoon, which indicates snow, you need to shovel. A fork is mild, and a knife is cold, icy, biting. Ooh. So that's how you can do that. And this year, the acorns were unbelievable. I can't walk out to the mailbox without feeling I'm going to fall because of the acorns. So that's another sign oh. that uh, winter could be harsh. The and it probably impacts the squirrels, too, right? Their activity. Absolutely. Is, huh. is it dependent on the acorns? Are, are squirrels busier when there's more acorns? Or I think which they came are. first, well, chicken or the egg? <laughs> <laughs> I think they 
it's a combination. <laughs> the, the tree develops or grows yep. more acorns or drops more acorns and the squirrels squirrels have a sense a heightened sense hey this is going to be a cold winter yeah. so let's gather all this stuff well and we couldn't gather all of this information without all of your little woolly worm wranglers oh, out there gosh. we have to give them a big shout out they are terrific every year it brings a smile to my face the woolly worm forecast and obviously it brings a smile to everyone's face because they give me videos reports pictures i mean it's just unbelievable and i'm so grateful because otherwise i couldn't do this yeah. without the without them showing me the work just you in your backyard looking for work <laughs> right so that <laughs> Well, we have yes. much more to come with Judy, including the official 2122 Woolly Worm forecast, and we're very much looking forward to that. Yeah, we're also looking forward to sharing your Woolly Worm reports throughout the hour, including all of the pictures um, that you've been submitting, and we'll take a look at them here as we go to break. We'll be back.